All right, Shalom, all praise be to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Raka Kodash. The will honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone. Salutations goes out to the Akim pushing this gospel, this good news, the world over, in sincerity and in truth. Adawan Rathazar, meaning Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And uh, hey man, you know, you've heard it first from the prophets of the Lord, man. You know, we've warned you, we've warned you and we've warned you over and over again, okay? not to trust this devil all right e the so-called w-h-i-t-e man okay all right now as you can see from your screen man we've got a uh, <coughs> an american actor all right by the name of uh, andre keith braher i believe i'm pronouncing his surname correctly all right who you know kicked the bucket on the 11th of december 2023 okay this year just two days ago recently all right all right and uh <clears throat> you you know what that is you know it's them uh them orange juice shots okay them orange juice shots now when you go in the uh the category for the cause of you know his passing away it says if you just let this thing right it says uh Braha passes away on December 11, 2023 at the age of 61 following a brief illness. Okay, so that's what they're saying. But, you know, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. And we, we know, you know, how sly and how crafty and how much of a liar, you know, he is, you know. All right. You see, because, <clears throat> you know, a majority of our people, we saw con Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Seminole Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, along with Israelite foreigners, speckled bird man. Okay, really, you're in tune with this life, with this world. Okay, you know, really, you, you love, you love being subservient to to these heathens. Okay, you know, you love being ruled over. You don't have a ruling class mentality, and you know, you you love basically being at the bottom. You love living in wickedness. Okay. Right, and you know a lot of these actors, entertainers, celebrities, you know they're sold out, man. That yeah, they they pretty much sold out, and the things they've got to do, you know, you know to keep their their role in society, to keep their position. All right, they've got a lot of witchcraft rituals that they do on the left hand side, man. Okay, just just to even stay relevant, they've got to keep doing that, man. Okay. So this is from the Guardian. All right article came out today wednesday the 13th of december this year right and it says the headline andre braher brooklyn 99 actor kicks the bucket age 61 andre braher who starred as captain raymond holt in the hit comedy brooklyn 99 and as detective frank uh, pembleton in homicide life on the street has passed away age 61 the actor died on monday after a brief illness his publicist confirmed okay and you know, more and more people are, are, are basically dropping from them Maxine shots, okay? You know, they, they, they ain't going to report <clears throat> the number of, of people that are, are passing away, okay? And, uh, you know, that's meant to be a slow slow poisoner, slow killer, all right? And especially in the wintertime, man, you know, that's going to seep up all up into you. You know, into your body, or all up into your bloodstream, your veins, and everything like that. Okay, you know, making your body numb, and ultimately, you know, you you're not the same when you've passed. Okay, it says instantly recognizable for his deep voice, Braha came to fame on the NBC drama Homicide: Life on the Street, which ran from 1992 to 1998. He won an Emmy for his portrayal of the tenacious, arrogant detective Frank Pembleton in 1998. But it was his performance as the deadpan Captain Raymond Holt in the hit comedy Brooklyn Nine-Nine that made him most famous, appearing alongside Andy Samberg in eight seasons. He won two Critics' Choice Awards for Best Supporting Actor in a comedy series and received four Emmy nominations for his performance as Holt. The precinct, No Nonsense, Black and You Know What, Boss. That's right, man, you see, and, you know... <coughs> This society, this system, man, it hates, you know, a strong so-called black male, man. 
it hates masculinity so they you know have roles and things like that for our people to portray an alternative lifestyle individual okay things like that so it can appease you know these wicked people that <clears throat> you know watch these programs okay appease the, the masses all right see these things these wrong things are uplifted and ex extorted in society all right look at, they look at it as a an act of uh, progress all right you know that you see you're moving forward you know these things are an abomination in, in the sight of your how about okay and the things that you know jakes have to do you know to to you know to remain relevant on the scene all right to get up high in in hollywood or hollywood more like you know they, they've got to do satanic things sacrifice family members all right get plowed through you know what i mean by that okay all sorts of, of wickedness man wicked rituals and that all right, it says born in 1962 in Chicago as the youngest of four children, Braha studied theatre on a Stanford scholarship before attending the Juilliard School for Drama. And you know, there's, there's more, a lot on this article. There's more on it, but you know, you know, that's just the that's just the case. Okay. All right. So we get a, a few uh, of precepts. This is the book of Psalm 118 and verse 8. It is better to put trust in Ha'adawan Yahweh than to put confidence in man. That's right. And the word confidence, you know, it goes back to, you know, con, meaning with, and fidence, going back to, you know, fidelity, meaning faith. Okay. Verse 9. It is better to trust in Ha'adawan Yahweh than to put confidence in princes. That's right, man. And most of our people, man, they they lack being spiritual, basically. Okay, and they just trust what this devil tells them. They just trust what people say. They just go by, you know, what they see in the media, what they hear on the news. Okay, what these people in suit and ties say. Okay, because, you know, they're, they're esteemed in society. All right. And they, they completely forget about the Lord and what he says and what he wants. Okay, they don't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, and that's you know that's why that's their you know basically their downfall, their shame. Okay, because man fails people, men fail you, but the Most High doesn't. All right, you know even to keep a role, to keep a certain position, they'd compromise themselves. Okay. In fact, let's get a uh, this scripture right here in the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, and verse ten. Start from verse ten. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and you shall be unto him as if you had wiped a looking glass, and you shall know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. That's right, man. We ain't supposed to ever, ever trust Edom. Okay? Never trust Esau. Alright? Because this is the same devil. Right? He ain't changed. He ain't, he's not good. Okay? He, he might hold the door open for you. He might, you know... <laughs> You know, even give you a little bit of change just to help you pay for something, right? Just to, you know, just to be kind. But this devil's the same devil, and none of that can wipe away all the wickedness that they've done as a people. Okay. A lot of our people still don't learn, man. They think he's he's changed. They think he's his friend, but you'll soon find out, you know, <laughs> what he's all about. Okay. Verse thirteen. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any, or any such as come near wild beast? There you go, man. You know, this devil, this serpent. All right, he bit the actor Andre Braha. All right, with the C19 Maxime, man. 
Okay. And you think you think these devils care that he's, he's passed? They'll just get someone else. All right. To replace him. All right. You know, it's sad and it's unfortunate. All right. But hey, that's what them <coughs> them Maxines were. All right. They were for. They were, that's what they were for, man. All right. Because this devil wants to to lower the population of of the people on this planet Earth. And guess who's number one in his list? That's right, you Israelites. All right. Isaiah chapter thirteen. We'll start from the top. Woe. Right, meaning destruction to the rebellious children, saith Ha'adawan Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That's right, man. See? Well, you know, scripture talks about, you know, the nation of Israel being a, you know, stiff necked, hard hearted people, man. Okay. That's right. Verse 2, that walk down to go into Egypt, right, in the modern day Egypt, spiritually is America, okay, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So, right, man, modern day Pharaoh, right, is the, you know, king of Babylon the Great America, okay, sleepy Joe Biden, right, you know, one minute they say, hey, there's not going to be any lockdowns, okay? So go ahead and take these Maxines, you know? Because they, they, see, these people are double tongued, man, okay? And next minute, you're hearing of it, of lockdowns, okay? Alright? <laughs> you see, in the, in the, the, the trust in, in the government, alright? For their protection, for their well being, for their safety, you know? Verse 3, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. That's right. <clears throat> Bob all confusion. Alright. So, you know, you, you put your trust in, in these officials, in these governments, man. Alright. Well, that's going to be to your downfall, basically. Alright. That's what two thirds in Babylon the Great are going to experience. Alright. Let's get the last one. First John chapter two. We'll start at verse fifteen and work our way down to verse seventeen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." And that's plain as day. Okay. Yes, we're in the world. You know, use the world, but not abusing it. Okay, because we know here is temporary. Okay. All right. You know, we're not here to to make it. We're not here to. You know, to prosper. All right. We're here in this condition, in captivity, because we sinned against our power. All right. Okay. You know, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come, and that's the kingdom. All right. Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. Okay. This place ain't it, man. All right. Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh... And the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, which that's what the Lord hates, pride, okay? He's not of the Father, but he's of the world, okay? <laughs> See, how should I pray, you know, for the elect, man, okay? I pray for them, not for the world, right? Because, all, remember, this world is run by the devil. Job 9 and 24 tells you that, man, okay? So, the, you know, the works thereof is, is evil. Snares and traps. Okay, wickedness is an all-time high, especially now. All right, and you you do righteousness, man. You look down upon, okay, because wickedness is what prospers in this world. That's why you know you have to do wickedness. You have to sell out in order to, you know, to so-called make it in this life. Okay, verse seventeen, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, abides forever. All right. And that's basically the whole duty of man, okay, to fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, okay. Because there's no, ma no matter what, how, you know, how much you, <coughs> how far you, you make it in this world, how, how so-called successful you try to be, how much money you make, how much wealth you have, 
riches, assets, no matter what, that's all going to get destroyed. That's all going to be done away with anyway. You know? You ain't going to take anything to the grave with you. You came into this world with nothing, and you're going to leave this world with nothing too. Okay? <laughs> Which is profit not in the day of wrath. Okay? So, you know, that's the case. Alright? And you know, 61 ain't, ain't super old. You know? And he was fine before that, and all of a sudden, brief illness. You see, so we know we know what what that was. We're not ignorant to that, okay. So, I don't want rather die. You were edified. Shabbat shalom. To the next.